What is up, everybody? Pot Boy Speaks for Life, and we are back with our second update video for Poseidon Aquarium. It's great to be back to where this all began. Um, so, um, as you all know, pretty recently, um, Frontier added the Wetland Pack to Planet Zoo, and there were quite some animals in that DLC that would that are perfect for Poseidon Quinn. So, now, I have a bit of a story. So, just bear with me. Um, so, I originally recorded a bunch of footage of me building all the exhibits, like any out of my other uh, planets, where I, like, build everything, and then I make it and I show it off on camera. And I had a, a load of footage, but unfortunately, Planet Zoo started acting weird, and I had to restart my computer. And in doing so, all of my progress, or not all my progress, but all my recording was completely lost. But I already, um, before I logged off, I did make a save in Planet Zoo. And so I decided, you know what? Why waste my time doing it all again when I can just show you guys what I did off camera? So, I'm gonna be doing exactly that. And you know what? If you guys like it, then maybe I'll format more of my videos like this, where I do the progress off camera and I just give you a quick tour of what I completed. Um, so, um, and so another thing is with the um, update alongside the wetland pack it introduced first person mode. So I decided I'm gonna give you a full tour of the entirety of the side of the premium. Only it's going to have first person mode. So let's get started. So um so to start, um instead of having like the old entrance here, I decided to add coaches. Um which these came in the Europe pack, but um I thought that the Great um, additions. So, if we keep going, so we walk by the Poseidon Aquarium statue, the penguin, walk in, and you see. And so, um, if you're a guest, then you'll come and check in at the um, register. But since we own this place, we could just mosey on in without a problem. So, up ahead, the first exhibit you can see is our African penguin exhibit. So, um, so you could both get an up top view from all angles, but from the sides, you can also get an underwater view. Um, and so that's the same on the other side, as you can tell by the um, one way glass. And so, one of our new additions is the Dan Crested Newt. Um, just, um, with me for a second. Found it. Right here. Um, so, oh yeah, there's the other one right over here. Oh, that's cool. Great. Um, so then, up here we got. Um, a little um, sitting area where you can use the food. Um, and you can also look over into the African penguin exhibit. Um, now if you go this way, we will enter the polar zone where our first exhibit here is the cave penguin exhibit. So I decided to inspire this exhibit off of the penguin exhibit in the movie Happy um, where you can get this up top view of the penguins, but you can also get an underwater view as well. Um, and so now if you keep going, um, over here, right over here, there we go. Um, so if you go under here, then you can get an underwater view of our polar bear exhibit. Um, now both, so um, I recorded, or I tried to record this quest already 
and both times I got some good polar bear footage and as you can see that's more good polar bear footage <gasps> oh we got a polar bear I'm um, going to catch some fish oh that's cool Ah, oh, this is great ah oh. man I could stay here and watch this all day but it's set. It. gotta move on so if you walk through this door um, you will enter our sea lion stadium so now every once in a while um, there will be an animal talk show where guests can come and sit and they can learn a bit about the California sea lions. Um, but even when there isn't a show, you can still come up to the glass and see for yourselves. Now, if we go this way, um, for this entrance, you will see our gray seal dome. So the reason I put this dome is because the um, gray seals don't like snow in their exhibit and my original plan was to just have the snow but um, I decided to turn the snow off for our other animals, more on that later. So you get a good 180 view of the gray seals and now if you come over here you will see our North American beaver enclosure, um, where you can actually see a beaver right there. Right over here. So, um, that's fine, I own this place. Um, um, so then, in here, you, so, once we go through this door, this is when you see most of our big changes to the Santa Cruz. So, this is our Louisiana Delta showcase where we show animals from North America specifically. So, over here we got our Denbeck Terrapins. <laughs> Must be getting some social vibes. Must want to get some attention. Um, and you've got the American Bullfrog. Um, uh, this, is the, this is the big thing with um, zoos is you gotta try and find the animals. Oh, I see one right there. If you can see where my mouse is circling, right over here. So, over here, this was originally supposed to be a beaver or an artificial beaver lodge where the beavers could swim up here and have a shelter and guests could see through the beaver lodge but unfortunately that does not work and i'm very disappointed at that um so over here is the american alligator exhibit now if you look to your left you can see that the wall in between the tropical zone and the Zena delta is now gone so um and so what I did was because that I decided to um, open it up and um, if you remember from the last update video when we added in the American alligators their original habitat was a bit too small for them but now with all this new space I was able to open up the uh, alligator enclosure um, also I had to um, limit guests um, because, yeah, but you know what, I think I'm going to turn off the window. So that's why it's super interesting here. So right over here, we have our new giant otter enclosure. Um, <laughs> you can see one of our otters moving around. Unfortunately, our breeding pair, pa our breeding pair passed away. Um, and so... All we have left are um, four siblings, um, and we don't want them to inbreed. So yeah, we put them on contraceptives. Um, so over here, oh wow, um, over here we got the Cougars Resort Cayman. Now not much has changed here. Um, we get a full 
360 degree enclosure. But then over here, what used to be the Garial Crocodile enclosure is now the Spectacle Cayman enclosure. Another one of our new additions from the wet pack. Um, so, we got a bunch of babies. Um, but then, if you look over here, you can see our new add on to Poseidon Aquarium. This is an extension to the tropics, the tropical zone, which is meant to represent both Asia and Oceania. So, if you look to our left, this is our new saltwater crocodile exhibit. You can see them right over there. And if you turn to our right, you can see our platypus exhibit. So, I actually have quite some facts about the platypus. So. As many people know, the platypus is a special type of mammal called a monotreme. Now, a monotreme is a mammal that lays eggs, a bit like a bird or a reptile or a fish. Um, so, and so currently there is, um, currently there's only six species of monotremes in the world. So, those being the platypus, as well as five different species of echidna, which are those porcupine looking things that aren't porcupines, that live in Australia, New Zealand, and Guinea. Um, and so, however, that wasn't always the case, as when mammals were first starting out during the Mesozoic, aka the reign of dinosaurs, um, many and many mammals started out by laying eggs. However, after the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction 66 million years ago, um, when the dinosaurs all went extinct, then the mammals were able to diversify and thus gave way to the ability to give life birth. Now, another thing about the platypus is that the platypus is very well suited for um, hunting for prey in brackish and murky waters because um, on its snout are little sensors um, that allow for it to locate prey in murky waters. So some of its prey includes crayfish, worms, and other mollusks. Um, and so those little, so there are little sensors on its um, bill which allow for it to hunt in murkier waters. So, kind of like how we have um, touch, taste, sight, smell, and hearing as our five senses, that little adaptation is almost like a sixth sense for the platypus. Um, and another cool fact about the platypus is that, um, I don't know if, it's, if this is just for males or if it's for both males and females, but the platypus has a little poisonous spur, I think around its armpit region. Um, and because of that, it is not a good idea to pet a platypus. Um, so yeah. Um, that's it for the platypus. Now over here is the new Garial Crocodile exhibit. So, um, a bit like the Cougar's Dwarf Cayman exhibit, um, you could get a full 360 view of Gariel Crocodiles. Um, so, I think that's our female. Um, lots of enrichment, lots of plants, I know. But then, our, our next newest edition, and by far the cutest edition, is the one, the only, the Asian small claw otter. I mean, come on, look at this thing. Look at this thing. So adorable. Hold up. Um, I think um, they actually had offspring. Where are they? Um, where is this? Where is this? No way. No way. Hold up. Hold up. 
Yes! We must absorb the cuteness! Absorb the cuteness! Oh, this is so adorable! Absorb the cuteness of the otters. Look at this thing! Look at this thing! And tell me that this is not the single cutest thing you have ever seen. Look at it! It's so stinking adorable! Even the, ad even the adults are just as adorable. But the babies are so stinking cute! Oh, and the little noises they make. Man, I could watch you guys all day. But, we gotta complete this tour. So, over here, um, rather than having a full path going around the exhibit, we have a, um, uh, uh, we have a, um, little area where there is another animal talk show or animal talk place, um where um once in a while a zookeeper will come here and talk a little bit about the otters and as you can see they are able to throw food to the otters so you can get a really good keeper interaction um with the otters and so then over here Another cute animal, not the cutest, but still cute nonetheless, the pygmy hippo. Um, and another baby. Oh, look at it! Look at this thing, look at this thing, and just absorb the cuteness. Absorb the cuteness. Ah, uh, even the adults are also so cute. But yeah, um, and over here, just like the wow. Cape Penguins, you can get both an up-top viewing, and you can get an underwater viewing. Um, but the only thing is this water isn't nearly as deep as the Cape The, um, uh, the King Penguins. There we go. Um, so yeah, so, that's the end of the tour. Um, so now, last time I made up a side aquarium of the video, that video got well over, that video got well over 100 days, and I greatly appreciate the fact that you guys gave so many views, I just really appreciate it. Um, I also really appreciate the many new subscribers at my school that I got from the history fair. Um, I ended up making it in to the history fair, and there was um, a chance to win like an award. Unfortunately, I didn't win an award, but I got like, but I like doubled in subscribers in the past year, and I'm just really appreciative of all of the all of you who support me. Um, so thank you. Um, and another thing is. Um, so, like I said, the first Poseidon Aquarium update video that I made when we added animals from the North America pack got well over 100 views. In fact, if I look it up, currently that video has 117 views. Now, here's the catch. If this video can replicate the results of the last Poseidon Aquarium update video by getting over a hundred views, then I will upload Poseidon Aquarium to the Steam Workshop so that when you guys can download it and walk around Poseidon Aquarium on your own. And who knows, maybe even like add some animals. Like, I don't know, like maybe if like there, there's plenty of mods out there. So if you guys want to, you can walk around the side aquarium and make your own side aquarium. Um, I mean, I'm not sure, like, I, I, I don't know too much about that stuff. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If so, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see some more Minecraft, Planet Zoo, and Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. 
and I will see you guys next time.